Okay, hello and welcome. Today we'll be playing Pokemon Revolutions and let's get started. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things. I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about the, this world. This world is widely inhabited by a creature known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, now why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's n so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventures, let's go to the Pokemon, the world of Pokemon. Hi there, my name is Brock and I'm, I'm the Peter City Gym Leader. How come you still don't have any Pokemon with you? I believe that Professor Oak can help you out. Go and talk with him. Maybe one day you will get a chance to challenge me. Hey. How did a kid get this far? Can you tell me your name? Oh, Tetsu. You are the one who moved in next door, next door to my lab. I heard from your mother that you want to become a Pokemon trainer. Come to my lab later and get your first Pokemon. Better go find, go find your mother. She's south from here. Later, Tetsu. Hey, what is that? I, I must be seeing things. Better get back to mom. Where were you, Tetsu? I was worried. I, I was worried about you. Stay near me from now on. Fine, mom. Look, look, look. That is a Pokemon battle, just like. The ones you always love to watch and play. I, I I don't know I don't know what they are doing there, but I know for a fact that's that since you want to become a Pokemon trainer, you will end up fighting as hard as those two. And who knows, maybe even better than them. Wait. That means you can hurt yourself. I just don't want you to get hurt. You will always be my little baby. But mom, I ha I have a po I can have a Pokemon now. So that means I am an adult. So technically, I can take care of myself. Sometimes you are too smart for your own good. Let's let's show him. Let's show him Charizard X. Use Outrage. Dragonite. Dodge that and use Draco Meteor. It's too dangerous. We're going home right now. But m no but now. That's you. Professor Oak dropped 
by the house while you were asleep. He told me to inform you that he wanted to sp speak with you in his lab when you were available. Pr Professor Oak will explain the rest to you. But you are finally of legal age to qualify for a trainer's license. This allows you to have your own Pokemon. There is more I want to say, but you will talk. We will talk more after you have spoken to Oak. We want to speak to you as soon as possible. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. There are three Pokemon here that are inside the Pokeballs. Actually, there are four of them. The last one is wild and pretty stubborn. You can only you can you can have it only if the ones on the table don't hit, and no, are aren't are not good enough for your taste. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only four left. But you, you can ha have this one. And have one choose. Decide, decide it on your Pokemon. Who speak with me? There is one last thing I need to talk to you about. Ah, very nice choice of a Pokemon there. I need to ask you something for me. On the desk, there is. On the desk, there is my invitation, Pokédex. It automatically records data of Pokémon you've seen or caught. It is a high-tech high -tech encyclopedia. To make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving. This is a great undertaking in Pokémon history. Hmm, remember that mom wanted to speak with me before I left town. I better talk to, to her before I get going. Well, I have already been given the rundown of what Oak once wanted to speak with you about. That being said, I, I understand that his task will require you to, to travel extremely extensively away from home. We may not be able to, we not, may not be in touch with each other for a while, so p p please take care of yourself while you are out there. Without your father around, but you have already shown a lot of responsibility. Well, you have been forced to take care of yourself and at times. More responsible ability than most trainers of your age have been accomplished to, have been accustomed to when growing up. I, I am confident that you are capable of looking after yourself. But please accept my money. Earlier today, Oak also dropped off some supplies that you may need on your ventures. They have been placed next to your desk upstairs. M remember that I love you, and I will always be there if you need to return home for any support. I wonder what would that be? You've, 
you you come across a Pokemon that is strenuously crawling around, and it appears to feel lonely. Pokemon tend to cry out their own names from what I watch on TV, so that must be its name, Eevee. It looks like it came here stray from the wild since it's not accompanied by a trainer. I'll capture all Pokemon one day. So it's time to get this this one of get this get this one out of the way. As you go to throw your Pokeball and move part way into tossing it. You notice that a trainer lunges between you and Eevee, withdrawing it into the, his Pokeball. What are you thinking, kiddo? This Pokemon belongs to me. It is a disgrace and an insult to me to think you ha how my Pokemon would fall into the hands of an incompetent, uh, inexperienced trainer of your caliber. Sorry, but the Pokemon seems to have left, be left alone, and I did not think it had a trainer. Save your breath. I have already had this heartfelt lecture from by my mom and Professor Oak on how we should harmonize with our Pokemon, not isolate ourselves from it. Quite frankly, I do not care about building a rapport with my Pokemon enough to have the patience to hold its hand everywhere. My goal as a trainer is strictly to maximize its sheer power and may only him if anything. Now, I have wasted enough time concerning conversation conversing with a feeble preteen such as you. I only care to converse with those who may be strong enough to unite with me and help reach my goal. All of the all of the power is in, in the world is what I am keen on hunting and what you have obviously lack. M moving along, small fry. Move along, son. You have him shoved the sign by Jason. So cold. Oh. Hey, did you not pick up the message, kid? You really are deplorably pathetic. I saw you rejoicing after you obtained your first Pokemon, clamoring that you would be a Pokemon master who caught each Pokemon and conquered any trainer who you encountered. Well, you may want to achieve what you you have seen in fiction TV shows, but r reality holds a completely different narrative for you. I will give you a lesson myself, since you are, ha are foolishly persistent. I will send you and your Pokemon to, to your mother, since you are too dr daft to do anything any other than waste my time. What good is, is this Pokemon? It is a travesty that a Pokemon under my con control would un 
underperform so badly. No matter how skillful the trainer is, anyone can lose if their Pokemon are that pathetic. This is exactly why I cannot grow friendly towards my Pokemon. The friendlier I am, the more they will underperform and will realize it, it the hard way yourself if you stay untrenched in your current philosophy. If I can dis discipline a Pokemon to be strong or employ trainers and embrace my philosophy, I will simply discard them. Even if you manage to manage a good fight in this instance, I would never enjoy employ you. As I already know, your childless, disgraceful, naive mindset is going to st stunt your growth in the long run. Huh? Employ? Route 1, Hot Town Ver to Viridian City. I never thought I'd see a Vergary Vergary of preteens traveling out in the open without their parents. Pokemon are protective suitors to accompany you as well as travel in the wild. The wise person once said, to be the best you have to be the best. Become a champion. Did you just... Hi, I work for at the Pokemon. It's part of a convenient chain selling all kinds of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know I'll give you a sample. Here you go.
I'm waiting for the berries to fully bloom for these trees. I, I check back every few days. There are berry trees up in Verdian Forest too, but I heard that those are more, more, more again, dynamic, more organ dynamic when it pertains to the various types of berries you can grow from it. In my experiences, there, these two trees have been homogeneous. They are considered consistently producing the same berries each time I check them. Touch a berry which the plant adjustment to, my, to me grows is especially useful if it's poised for its poison sharing effects. Those weedle are really annoying with how often they poison my Pokemon. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. First person once said, it's best to have okay. Marvelous things bicycles, aren't they? Well, I used to enjoy riding on my pedally fa penny fathering when I was a boy. Oh, it's just such a joy, good fun. But I haven't been able t to do that for a long time now. Anyways, I heard from a friend of mine that some old fellow in Viridian City will be selling newcomers a bike voucher. For a price, mind you. But, by golly, I can't recall where he said the chap lived. Listen here. Do you want to score some free cash? I'm pretty sure that's a yes. <laughs> Anyways, I heard that there was some crazy dude somewhere that buys any rare item that you brought to him. I mean, there's even a sto story going around that the guy brought a mushroom off of someone just because it was big. Cuckoo. Good day, trainer. Welcome to Ruthian City Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? 
okay, let me take your, take a look at those Pokemon. There you go, take care of them. Have a nice day. I'm sorry if my husband has come across as brash to you. He becomes grouchy whenever Pokemon trainers are brought up I, or exposed to him as we go out in public. He too often yearns for the older days when Pokemon were used for no more than household companions and workers. Ever since Pokemon are deployed in the last inter-regional inter war, it has been traditionalized for them to be trained in battle, but he has yet to embrace it as he, as, as he is a peacetime extremist. Ugh, I tell you, the audacity of you good-for-nothing Pokemon trainers. This used to be a, a free, peaceful world, but they think they can run the streets for their Pokemon. I'm telling you, a dictatorship is on the rise with these kids and their power trips. Don't. I know you have. I know you are in a foul mood, but what? Yes, I am. Now go get me chocolate. 